All right, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use or how to sync your iPad slash iPhone using iOS 7. It's pretty much the same thing. First thing you want to do is go ahead and plug it in, open up iTunes. And as you can see right here, the iPad automatically opened up or popped up on there. So you can go ahead and click iPad. Uh, it tells you a little bit about your iPad, your serial number, your unique identifying device. Um, yeah, and it shows you that you're using iOS 7. You can check for updates. You can restore it. Um, and then it kind of tells you what you're doing with your backup. So um, right now I back up mostly to the iCloud. Uh, and then it tells you exactly when you last backed up. You can back up now. You can hit restore from a backup. Um, but it shows you right here, yesterday, uh, my, it backed up to the iCloud at 9.18 p.m. And the last time I backed up the computer was two days ago, it looks like, uh, on 101 p.m. Uh, on 9.15. And so you can actually uh, bookmark things. Um, you can create a, a local backup that's password enabled. And these are just your different options. Uh, I mostly leave these how they are. Um, you can change it so it only will sync when the iPad's over Wi-Fi, which is sometimes nice. But since I'm using the iCloud, most of these things you don't really need to worry about. But I just want to show you right now all the different things. So all these things up here are all what you can put on and off the iPad. So here's info. This talks about your different uh, mail accounts. Uh, it talks about your bookmarks. Um, and then replaces information on this iPad with mail accounts. Uh, so this is just kind of more information, but most of the times if you're just going to set it up over iCloud, you won't really need to use this. The only time you really use uh, the sync to your computer is when you're putting on a bunch of new apps, uh, new music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, anything that is like a lot of data being transferred. So let's go ahead and click on apps. What's cool is you can go on here and you could move your apps around. So let's say you want to go on here. It's, it's just a lot faster than the regular the regular layout on the on the, the iPad where you actually click and hold and move it around. But you can go on there and you can move things into folders. You can click and look in the folders. A lot of different cool things like that. Um, this actually looks like it's still iOS uh, 6 um, in terms of some of the layout features. But anyways, that shouldn't really matter. Uh, I think that's probably just part of being um, the new update. So they'll probably change a couple of those things um, with the new release of iTunes. But the next thing, so let's say you wanted to, I'll you know, show you right here which ones are on there. So this one, all these are on there because they say remove. But nine millimeter, you can see right there, I can install that and it will show you it's what size, but you want to click install and it will say will install. And then as you saw across the bottom here, that actually uh, got bigger. So you can click that off and then see how it moves back and forth and it tells you how much gigabytes it's taken up. So that's one of the things. Tones, um, this is going to be a new one it looks like. Uh, Oh, so these are just different, uh, these are for like uh, ringtones, uh, chimes, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, I like all the tones that are already on there. Music, this is where you can go on here and sync new music. So let's say I wanted uh, the new uh, Big Boy album on there. That's um, actually not his newest one, but that one, we'll just go ahead and sync that on there just so I can show you guys. And then you can include music videos, voice memos, and you can go and set it up to automatically fill space with... Uh, with songs, so it actually would put 13 gigs of music onto my iPad, but I turn that off because I like having the extra space on there just in case I ever need to do anything with it. And you can go on to movies. Uh, let's say I wanted to put on um, a movie of mine. Let's just say I wanted to put on Captain America: The First Avenger. Click it. Very straightforward. I mean, this is all stuff you've probably used if you've had an iPad or an iPhone for a while. You'll know how to use these things. Go and click TV shows. Let's say I want to put on the new episode of Dexter. You can click here and it'll select all episodes on there. Or you can just pick a specific episode. So let's just say we want just that episode. You can go into podcasts. You can sync podcasts by clicking that. And then you can pick which podcast you want. I don't really want to put any podcasts on, but I mean, I'll just show you how to do it. So you can click here, download that one. Uh, then let's go over to books. So right now I've got I've got a ton of books. So books and PDFs. You can kind of sort it by that. Only books, only PDFs. So let's say only books. So it's only going to give you the books that are already. And if it has a check mark, it means it's already on your iPad or on your iDevice. Now if you can sort it by title, author, date. Um, so I'm just going to leave this how it is. Uh, but you get the point. You can also go down to audiobooks and pick which audiobooks you want to put back on your iPad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one off because I've already listened to it. Uh, but I just took that off. And mostly I've been using audible.com for my audiobooks. 
uh, which is pretty cool. Then you go to photos. Photos mostly are handled through uh, iPhoto, but you can also uh, kind of manage it through here. I think they're making some bigger moves to do it through here, but these are just kind of the main things that you can do with, uh, with iPhoto or directly through iTunes. Uh, and if you click on here, you can see photos takes up almost six gigs. So I've got about almost 2,000 photos on my iPad. Uh, videos, nine gigs, seven items, 24 gigs worth of apps. And then on this iPad, we'll actually show you what movies, books, uh, TV shows. It's just a little bit easier to read in this aspect of what's actually on the iPad. And once you're all done, you just click apply or you hit revert and it'll take you, it'll just erase everything you just did. But if you click apply, now it's going to go through the whole syncing process. So you can sync iPad and it's going to go through all the different steps. So importing photos, it just skipped all those steps because nothing's really changed. And so um, right now it's just going to import the photos, waiting for the changes to be applied. And that's once this is done, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash machelpers and we'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Uh, and as we can sit here and go through this, I might turn the video off uh, now, but let's just see. Let's wait a couple more seconds just so you guys got a, a feel for what's going on. But as you can see, I still have a ton of space left on my iPad uh, just to be able to put more music videos, apps. But I like to keep a little bit of gigabits free, a little bit of free space so I can download new movies, books, apps on the road because uh, that's always convenient when you're on vacation or uh, you've got a downtime, you've got a layover in the airport, you find some Wi-Fi, you can download a new movie or download a quick book and be able to be on the way. But if you're, all this hard drive space on your iPad was full, you wouldn't be able to do that kind of thing. So that's definitely a, uh, a cool feature about it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and click done on here and that just kind of shows you it. So if you guys have any questions, like I was saying, email us at yourmachelpers.com, info at yourmachelpers.com or find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash uh, machelpers. Thanks. <laughs>